2025 was awarded jointly to John Clark, Michelle Devery, and John Martinez for the discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electric circuit. Now that's a mouthful. But what does it all mean? Well, there are two key words in there in that announcement, and they are macroscopic and quantum. And that's what makes it remarkable. Those two terms do not go together. For over a hundred years, we know that quantum phenomena is related to operating at the subatomic level with electrons and atoms and things like that. As a matter of fact, it has helped us understand radioactivity as to how alpha particles that do not have enough energy can actually escape from the nucleus and which we observe as radioactive phenomena. Well, quantum tunneling is the explanation. If I, in this classical world, take this ball and throw it at the wall behind me, you expect exactly that to happen, that it will bounce back. But in a quantum universe, it's not always that. There's always a non-zero probability that the ball could have gone right through the wall. This is what makes it so amazing that for the first time, we can observe quantum phenomena at the macroscopic level. And how did they do this? Well, they used superconducting electrical circuits, which means they've been cooled down to a very, very, very low temperatures. And when there was no voltage, they actually found current flowing, right? How'd that happen? Well, these electron pairs in this situation actually tunneled through. And we observe them where classically you would not, right? So we are now dealing with macroscopic circuits that you can actually touch and feel. So that's like truly, folks, mind blowing. Not only that, they also observed that the energy associated with the circuit was quantized. And what that means is that it was in a step-like fashion. So all of this, is it just theoretical consideration? Is there any practical applications of all of these things? Well, as it turns out, because of the quantization of energy, the volt and therefore the voltage, you could now represent the voltage as a zero or a one. So you see where this is going. It, their findings have applications for the development of quantum computers. And now you're wondering, so is there any impact of this discovery here in the Caribbean? Well, its impact is global and for all of humanity and us in the Caribbean as part of the global community and as part of humanity, it is as relevant and as important to us as it is to anyone else in the world. How cool is that?